Hello everyone, thank you very much for checking out this video. This is my control module for my 128T Yak Power, uh, Yak Power Kayak. And um, this, this circuit board here basically controls uh, two trolling motors. So it's like uh, basically a twin turbo um, computer here. So let me tell you what I got laid out. This is the engine mount by Minn Kota. Okay, so this controls, let's say if someone puts two trolling motors on the back of their gas powered motor, they would need this module to control those motors from the uh, steering bay or the steering area. So this line is basically so long that I had to, you know, roll it up and uh, tie it off with a cable tie that, uh, you know, but uh, hey, it controls my trolling motors just as it does on, on an actual boat. So um, let me show you a little bit about what I got going on. You probably see already. Um, so this is the main engine mount for this controller. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the the control module for this controller. Um, so here is our negative terminal, and here is our positive terminal. Um, these are basically loose, but I wanted to get them all in one shot, so I had to move them the way I had to. But nonetheless, you got power from the battery going here okay and you got the negative from the battery going here okay and what that does is it also shares with this cable here this cable is attached to uh, let's see here this table this cable is attached to this monitor here so this little thing tells me how many volts I'm running whether I'm high whether I'm low so forth as I'm using my trolling motors okay I use this bus bar to basically send the signal the same signal elsewhere so from here so basically you got the negative here the positive here that sends it to this voltmeter okay not only is it sending the negative and positive there but it's also sending it to this control module so it receives the power on this negative and this positive, okay? So from there, it goes through this system, it comes back out, boom. Positive here, negative there, all right? So these two points in the middle, it then sends a signal here to these two points. From there, it goes all the way around to this uh, bus board, this bus bar, excuse me. From there, I had to transfer the positive to this terminal, transfer the negative to this terminal, okay? So then I have negative going to straight into this bus bar, but I have positive going into this bus bar as well. And what that has on it is two fuses. These are two 40 ounce, I mean 40 ounce, <laughs> thinking about a drink. These are two um, uh, 40 amp fuses just here, okay? So from there, all right, you've got your positive going here, negative going there through the fuse to protect it. All right, from there, you start getting into your breakers. Not your breakers, I'm sorry. Your, um, your uh, what are these things called? Relays, okay? So these are waterproof relays. They're both gauges that 40 amps a piece, okay? And they're separate. So the way it divides is, it, it goes, you know, um, if you know anything about relays, you already know how I laid this out, basically. So I've got power going into the red, all right? And then I've got negative ground going into the black, okay? Sends power through the relay, comes out the blue, and the blue goes to the trolling motor. Now, if you notice, before it gets to the trolling motor, we got this little red thing. This is an automatic breaker here. These are two automatic breakers. One for each trolling motor, just like the relays, one for each trolling motor. From there, it goes directly out to these SAE connections, okay? So I plug up my trolling motor individually. This is one for the left, okay? And this is one for the right, okay? And I run those directly through the hole, and I go into my, to my trolling motors. Now, I wanted to show you this before I put it inside the hole because it's going to go underneath my seat and it's going to be braced up 
on the top part of the kayak, not laying on the floor while the water runs. So I want this to be clean and clear, okay? And um, if you have any questions about this setup, what I did, uh, you know, feel free to ask, feel free to comment below. Um, I'm more than, more than happy to respond. Uh, but what I'm most excited about is this control module, okay? Um, this control module basically controls controls the um, the trolling motors in the correct polarity to where if I want to go forward I can go forward if I want to go reverse I can go reverse and this does the job okay I don't have to turn a handle I don't have to mount anything on the side of my kayak or nothing like that no handles up there you know no kayak old kayak head units I'm not sorry not kayak head units but uh, Minn Kota head units I don't have to put that up there um, and if you have any questions about what material I use, feel free to ask. This is from Home Depot. This little, you know, a tool board. So it's basically, a, as you can see, an interconnecting pegboard. All right. So you can expand it, you can shorten it, you can cut it, whatever you want to do. But it's made out of polypropylene. So it's the same material uh, that some parts of your kayak is made out of, like, you know, the hatch. You know, hatches are made out of polypropylene. Um, and so other parts, I think the whole kayak is made out of polypropylene. But nonetheless, yeah, I got that from Home Depot for six bucks. Um, the breakers, they cost about, I think I got two, two breakers on Amazon for like 15 bucks. Um, this voltmeter specifically is uh, by, who is it, by Sea Dog or uh, Select Designs. It's the same company basically. Um, and the story behind this one is I paid 40 bucks for it. Had I known and I would have kept, you know, searching through... Uh, Amazon, I would have found it for 15 bucks. I would have saved about, you know, $30. That would have been nice. But nonetheless, we got one. It works. It's great. All right. Um, let's see here. Oh, I just forgot to tell you. I got a kill switch on this thing. There's my kill switch here. Let's see if I can move that over here. So this is my, um, what is it? What is this? Uh, Lucy's or Sea Blue or something like that. I forgot what the company is. But yeah, they've got a kill switch, and I went with this one. Um, I'll show you the lanyard and everything for it. It's pretty cool. I modded it up, of course. But yeah, I've got a lanyard that attaches to my ankle, and I can just, you know, if I fall out, boom, it's going to pull and disconnect um, these motors. Now, how that works is, it's strange. How that works is, this kill switch is wired to the switches the white lines the white cables in the relays so the white cable tells the relay to turn on or turn off right and when you've got them connected and power running through it it'll never do it okay unless you put a kill switch on it it'll always be on if you have it connected to power like if you have the white connected to the i believe red on the same port then it'll always be on so how I interrupted that was I ran positive, I ran, um, I'm sorry, I ran from the, from the white switch to positive, okay, and interrupted it with the kill switch. So that's how I can kill that power if I need to. This breaker here is your standard uh, T-Toka breaker from Amazon, it's 40 amp. The um, reason why I went with one, because it's coming directly from the battery. I think you should always have something before you got to the battery. Um, but I didn't find that the breaker was enough. I found that the fuses are better. So if something goes bad, I want these fuses to blow because this breaker might not respond as quickly or as accurately. So if something also goes bad, I've got the uh, automatic breakers. So I don't have to press a button to reset these breakers. All I have to do is take the power off or turn this knob to off Okay, and then turn it back on. It'll reset these breakers. So that's the most awesome. These are some pretty cool things I've got going on here. And um, these relays, man, these are waterproof. No, no worries. These breakers, they're semi-waterproof, but this is definitely waterproof. Um, so you won't have any problems there. Um, but yeah, I got these bus bars here from Home Depot. They're about I think five fifty a piece. Boom, boom, boom. So that was pretty cheap, or maybe like six bucks a piece. Just so six, twelve, eighteen. Um, so not bad. Uh, 
the relays were like five in a pack for I think twenty five dollars. You get five for twenty five. Not a bad deal. I used two, and I got plenty more. I want to hook up my ladies' ten T kayak. If anybody has any, you know, um, advice on, you know, putting the trolling motor on this one, let me know. Cause you can't get into the inside of it. So I'm gonna have to do one way, you know, uh, drills and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's it. So guys, if you have any questions, once again, please feel free to ask. And uh, I would love to post more videos like this. Um, if I get some traction, I'll definitely be more influenced to do so. And one way to gain traction is to gain subscribers. So if you feel you wanted to subscribe, please come and join me. I'm new to the channel. I'm new to the YouTube. I'm new to all this stuff. But I'm going to try to do my best to um, keep you guys updated. Uh, leave comments below on what you like, what you don't like, um, any advice you might have. But uh, I got to get this thing out to the water to give it a try. So till then, you guys have a great weekend or happy fishing or happy kayaking. Whatever it is you do, just enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye.